Hello, uh, I'm Eric Fleming, and this is my Space Invaders uh, final project. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, jump right on into it. So it's in the PA final operational folder, and this is the revision number. But of course, uh, you read that anyways in the uh, file that lets you see this video. Uh, now, I just wanted to say uh, one thing before we jump into the game. Uh, I do not have two-player uh, mode uh, activated, and uh, my scene togglings is only... Um, really half of them. So uh, when you lose all three lives, it'll take you to the game over scene, um, but the game over scene does not take you to back to the uh, start page. Okay, uh, and if you hear me pausing from time to time, uh, that's because I'm uh, trying to read off the little checklist uh, we have off to the uh, side. So, uh, you know, sometimes it's hard to think and do it at the same time. Uh, we're hit one for to get going and uh, jump up right on into it. So uh, you'll notice that when I hit aliens, they're different points. The that was 10 and then 20. Uh, that was 10. Let's see if we can get some more. So 20, 20, 30. Okay. Uh, I can shoot through this shield. Uh, I just destroyed that bomb when I shot through the shield. Um, you also notice that there's three um, bomb falling strategies. We have fall straight, uh, fall dagger, which uh, flips over the x axis, and uh, uh, fall zigzag, which flips over the y-axis. Um, you should also notice that the game speeds up every time I kill 11 aliens, and then it speeds up uh, when you kill uh, everyone in the last 11 aliens. Basically, it speeds up 10% uh, for each group of 11, and in the very last group, it speeds up um, by 2%. So you should start to uh, see that coming into play. The U UFO appears and disappears uh, randomly about every 25 to 45 seconds. I'm just using a random hint for that. Uh, when I hit the top of the screen, you saw it um, make an explosion. Okay, uh, I'm just trying to buy myself a little bit of time. When the aliens collide with the shields, uh, they do make a noise and they delete them. There's a little speed up right there. Uh, we talked about the bomb falling strategies, so that's happening. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'll lose a life in a little while. Let's just uh, want to drag it out just a little bit. Uh, if you listen very carefully, there is a shoot noise, so I didn't mention that last time. Okay. Uh, okay, let's destroy some shields. Nope, is it? There it goes. A little bit more shield. There it goes. Right. No, stop destroying my shields. And uh, when it respawns, uh, the next wave is about 10% faster uh, than the previous wave. So it's hard to notice it uh, on the very first one, but once you get about halfway, you start seeing how much faster they're uh, moving. Uh, eventually, I will hit a uh, UFO, and then uh, we'll see that it gives me points. Alright, it has hit the shield uh, multiple times, so just to point that out, I missed it hit the top. Destroy most of my shields, little guys. So you definitely notice it's moving faster now. Right? See, that's way faster than it was last time. Oh! Okay, so the UFO. Points! 100 points. Alright, so now it's 30 or 20% faster than the beginning of the original game. Um, I can destroy those bombs like we were sending. Um, the high score will update when I eventually die. Uh, let's show a death animation right for you. So, boom, now I'm at 2. And, uh, I'm just going to hide under here and let's see what else I need to talk about. Uh, we did do the missile launching. 
right? Where I can't move. We did the toggle. I can't go through that wall. Alright, that's one death. And, uh, boom. That's uh, game over. So, like I was saying, uh, you have to hit the screen again to go back. You have to hit three to go back to the screen, and then one if you want to play again. Uh, so now I'm just going to be reading off the list to see if there's things that I missed to go back into it. Um, we showed different points. Movement was working. Number of lives was working. Uh, we showed all of the uh, collisions. Um, yeah, the animations and sound and all that were in sync. Um, it dropped bombs in it. Uh, efficiently and it didn't overdo it when there were fewer columns. Um, you saw all the splats when uh, explosions were hitting the shields and when you, when the missile hit the bomb. Um, there were definitely different points for different types of aliens. Um, it did the UFO launch randomly every 25 to 45 seconds. It moved left to right. It played its noises. Um, we did have the three different falling types. We had all the shields. You, sh you saw me at the very beginning make a hole through the shield. Um, and so, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. So, uh, showing that score update. So, we go back to here. Again, it shows like uh, it hasn't updated, but then when we go back in, the high score actually did update. Um, it will also show you that if I hit player two in here, um, I can start adding points to uh, player two. And, um, you know, so they're on the same scene. I didn't. Um, break them out. Obviously, that's a requirement. Um, I couldn't think through uh, the best way of how to, you know, keep them separate. Um, but uh, thank you, and let's uh, close this out. I think that's the end of the video, and uh, I really enjoyed the class. It was challenging and uh, super rewarding. So thank you.